Hey guys, with the new Wonder Woman 84 movie coming out, Greg from Cool Classics and I thought it would be a good idea to bring you some videos revolving around Wonder Woman. Today I'll be bringing you the history and origins of the black Wonder Woman known as Nubia. And if you'd like to learn a little bit more about the lives of Gal Gadot and Linda Carter, head on over to Cool Classics after you finish watching this video. Links to his channel will be at the end. First appearing in Wonder Woman Volume 1, number 204 from January 1973 and created by Robert Kangner and Don Heck in pre-crisis continuity. Another version of Nubia made her first post-crisis appearance in Wonder Woman Volume 2 Annual number 8 from 1999 and was created by Docell Young and Brian Denham. In the pre-crisis continuity, Princess Diana is confronted by an armor-wearing female warrior who challenges her to single combat while claiming to be the Wonder Woman of the floating island. For the most part, Diana and the warrior were evenly matched until Diana's sword was knocked from her hands. The warrior refused to kill Diana and removed her helmet to reveal a dark-skinned woman by the name of Nubia and tells Diana they will meet again someday and decide which of them actually has the right to the title of Wonder Woman. On her floating island, which is concealed by fog and mist, it's revealed that she rules over a kingdom of men. On Earth-23, which has race-swapped versions of Earth's heroes, Nubia is that universe's Wonder Woman and functions in the same manner as the regular Earth's Wonder Woman. It was later revealed in Wonder Woman number 206 that Hippolyta, the queen of the Amazons, and Diana's mother, had actually created two babies from clay. One was made of dark clay and the other of light clay. The god Aphrodite brought the infants to life, but Ares, the god of war, abducted the dark-skinned infant, and Hippolyta never saw her again, until the day she came to Themyscira. Nubia was raised by Ares as his weapon of destruction against the Amazons. Ares and Nubia then waged war on Themyscira, which at the time was known as Paradise Island, from their floating island called Slaughter Island. However, Diana destroyed the Ring of Ares, which Nubia wore, that allowed the God of War to control her, and the two Wonder Women worked together to defeat the God. The Crisis on Infinite Earths from 1985 erased all of continuity in DC Comics before this point. Well. Not erased per se, just placed it in an alternate universe, making it one of the 52 Earths in DC Comics' multiverse. In post-crisis comics, Princess Diana meets an Amazonian warrior who calls herself Nubia. The warrior then mistakes Diana for her former queen Antelope, but discovers that Diana was actually Antelope's niece. Nubia revealed to Diana that she was the first Amazon to win the Tournament of Grace and Wonder, becoming the Amazon's first champion. Her mission as the first Wonder Woman was to guard Doom's Doorway, which was the entrance to the River Styx, as well as the Gate to Tartarus on Themyscira. Nubia had to enter the doorway and guard the gate from the inside. It's speculated that because of the Amazons never told Diana of Nubia, that they may have thought she perished long before Diana's birth. It was revealed in a later comic that she was granted the gift of cold sight by the Gorgons, which allow her to transform any living being into stone. After helping Diana with her mission, Nubia returned to the underworld. In 1975, producers of the Wonder Woman TV series cast Teresa Graves as Nubia, then referred to as Diana's sister, but the series moved to CBS in 1977 before the character could appear on the show. The same year, Mego produced a Nubia doll, which was supposed to tie into the show, which shows how Nubia would have looked had she made it to television. Characters who resembled Nubia in some way, shape, or form continued to appear in the Kathy Lee Crosby Wonder Woman film from 1974. The Challenge of the Super Friends digital comic, Wonder Woman 77 meets the Bionic Woman, and DC Universe Online. Her pre-crisis powers include the ability to glide on air currents, super strength, as well as the other Amazonian abilities that Wonder Woman has. Her weapon was that of a magical sword created by Ares, which could counteract Diana's magical lasso. Her post-crisis powers include magical armor, the ability to travel to and from Hades at will, as well as other mythical realms, Cold Sight, a magic sword, 3,000 years of combat experience, immortality, enhanced strength, and intelligence, the ability to jump over 12 feet from a standing position, enhanced healing and durability, as well as the ability to absorb vast amounts of knowledge in a short period of time. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.